I'm, I'm just telling you, I'm going to continue to film. I'm going to report on these books. If you would like to call the police and have them come talk no, to me, you're more than welcome to do so. Very, so it's called uh, Gender Queer. Um, so this is a, a drawing of um, oral sex taking place between um, individuals. People who are under the age of 18 can check out this book without parental approval. What do you think the value is of having a book like this that has a drawing of oral sex taking place? What do you think the value of having that in a library is? This book is called Gender Identity for Kids. Here in the children's picture books section, they have a book called The Hips on the Drag Queen Go Swish, 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 as if you're a drag queen and you know it, the anti-racist kid. Here we have Not My Idea, a book about whiteness. This next book is When Aiden Became a Brother. Keep in mind that Aiden is a biological female who identifies as a boy. Red, a crayons story, and they're now presenting children with books that tell them that crayons can be trans. I'm here at Herrick District Library in Holland, Michigan, where I'll be taking a look at some of the books that they have inside of their library. Do you need help with anything? Uh, I'm just, I've got a list of books that I'm just looking to go find, so. Okay, um, do you need help finding any books? No, I've got the, like, labels here for the books that I'm, I'm looking for, so. We do actually don't allow patrons to be recorded at all, and we do have patrons around. Well, I have freedom of press. This is oh, America. We don't, but we so. have children, so we don't record I'm, children. I'm not, I'm not intentionally recording any children. I have, I have freedom of press. I've got some books here that I want to go find to report on. So that's okay, what I'm going to do. You're welcome to report on books. We love that. If you could just please keep children's faces out. Yeah, I, 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 we don't, I do. The children have the privacy. Right again, right? again, I'm, I'm, I'm just here to report on these books. So, okay. so I'm not intentionally filming anyone. I'm, I'm but I do have freedom of press here. I'm just, so if, I'm just verifying. Okay, I'm, I'm just telling you, I'm going to continue to film. I'm going to report on these books. If you would like to call the police and have them come no, talk to me, you're more than welcome to do I'm, so. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm just asking to please be mindful of children. Yeah, I do my best not to film children. <laughs> like, I'm here to report on these books. That's perfectly fine. I'm fine with that. I'm just saying my piece. Okay, like I said, I have freedom of press here. I'm here to report on these books. If you want to call the police and have them talk I, to me, you're more than welcome to I, do so. That is not my goal. Okay. That is not my goal. Okay. I'm just asking to be mindful of children because I'm just here. I care about the kids. That's all. Yeah, like I said, I mean, I care about the kids too. That's part of why I'm here because I think there's some books here that I think are potentially harmful to children. Um, so that's why I'm here. I care about children as well. I'll do my best not do to you, film them. Would you like a reconsideration form if there's anything that you're concerned um, about? Not at this point right now. Like I said, I just want to find these books, take a look at them, and then report on them. Okay. All right. Have a good day. So we've got the do's and donuts of love. Not really sure what that's about. And they have Gender Queer on their shelves. Um, I just took a look inside Gender Queer and just flipping through it, I found um, what is essentially a drawing of someone sucking the penis of another individual. Um, so I will probably be asking the librarians um, why this is on the shelf. I don't really see the, the value in having this on shelves. And also if there's any restrictions on if children are allowed to check this book out without a parent's approval, um, or if it would require a parent's approval. Excuse me. Hi. Hi, um, I have a question on this book. Mm -hmm. um, so it's called uh, Gender Queer. Okay. Um, I'm, I, this is a picture of, or a drawing of someone basically, you know, sucking the, the male genitalia of another individual. I guess I'm just curious, um, would a, it, someone who's under the age of 18, would they be able to check this book out without parental approval? Our policy is that a minor does need to have parental approval in order to get a library card. Mm -hmm. We do highly, highly recommend that anyone who has a minor child who has a library card does keep track of the books that they check out. They can do that physically or they can do that online because the parent is always going to know what's best for their kid. Uh -huh, but say that a child came here by themselves, they would be able to check this out without parental approval then? There aren't any age restrictions on any items in our library. Okay. And just out of curiosity, what do you think the like the educational value is of having a book like this on the shelves? I don't tend to speak to things like that, but if you would like to speak to our director or our collections manager, you may certainly do that. I'd be, I'd be happy to. Is, are they here right now? Or? No. Would you like to speak to our director or our collections manager? Either one. Up to you. Whoever's okay. responsible for you know determining what books should be on the shelves and what shouldn't. I'll be right back. Do I want to okay. be here for just a minute? Yeah. No problem. No worries. Hi. How's it going? Uh, good, how are you? I had a, a couple of questions on one of the books that I found in the library, so it's called uh, Gender Queer. Um, so this is a, a drawing of um, oral sex taking place between um, individuals. Um, I was told by uh, one of the other staff members here that people who are under the age of 18 can check out this book without parental approval. Is that correct? The children have uh, a card that is signed by mm -hmm. a parent 
and the parents are encouraged to watch and see what their children are doing. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, but a child, say that, say someone who's like 15, 14, 13, 12, 10, came here without a parent, checked out the book, um, they could do that without the parent signing off or giving approval. Obviously, I, from what I understand, the parents may be able to track that through like an online portal or something, but they would not need parental approval to actually check out the book itself, correct? They are co-signing the okay. library card saying that yes, they are but, responsible. But not every book, yes. Right. Yes. It depends on the parent. Mm -hmm. And so what do you think the value is of having a book like this that has a drawing of oral sex taking place? What do you think the value of having that in the library is? Every book has its place in the library. Um, well, the books that are selected have their place in the library. Mm -hmm. We do have a collection development policy and there are people who are going to disagree with some of the things that are in some of the books. I don't know this particular book, but if you are thinking that this is one that does not belong in the library, we do have a process that you can fill out a request for reconsideration form. So I'm just wondering, do you think that this has a place in the library? You said every book in the library has a place. Do you think a book like this has a place in the library? And if so, what, what's I the purpose? there is a process to go through, and you are welcome to fill out a request for a reconsideration form, and we will consider it. OK, thank you. Mm -hmm. And I didn't get your name. Oh, uh, my name's Hayden. Hayden, what's Hayden. your last name, Hayden? Uh, I don't feel like it's necessary to give you that at this point. OK. All right. And are you representing a group, Hayden? No, I'm just a concerned citizen, concerned for children who may come across this book in the library and be exposed to oral sex at any age. And I think that's problematic. Are you a resident here? Uh, I'm a resident of Michigan, yes. A resident of Holland? No. Okay, good. And do you hair hold the Herrick Library card? No. Okay, good. Thank you for letting me know. And um, we are still wel you're welcome to fill out a request for reconsideration, and we will definitely take a look at it. Thanks. Thank you. Just wanted to express my concern that children may come across this book that contains oral sex vividly illustrated. And I think that's problematic. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to continue looking at some of the books, but have a, have a great day. Thank you. You too. Here they have it stamped for kids. It says racism, anti-racism, and you. It's by Ibram X. Kendi. Here they have this book is feminist, an intersectional primer for next gen change makers. Here they have it feels good to be yourself, a book about gender identity. This book is called Gender Identity for Kids. And this book is called You Are Stardust. I would much prefer a book that said You Are Imago Dei. You are made in the image of God. That'd be much, much better. This book is Have I Ever Told You Black Lives Matter? Here we have a book called The Anti-Racist Kid. It says it's a book about identity, justice, and activism. Here we have Not My Idea, a book about whiteness. Here they have And Tango Makes Three, which is about two male gay penguins sitting on an abandoned egg. Here in the children's picture books section, they have a book called The Hips on the Drag Queen Go Swish, Swish, Swish. There is no way that this is even remotely appropriate to be in the children's section with picture books. This book in the children's section is if you're a drag queen and you know it, there's no way this is appropriate for children to be able to look through inside of the children's section in public libraries. Here we have the book, Julian is a Mermaid. Keep in mind that Julian is actually a little boy. Julian at the wedding, and keep in mind the wedding in this book has two brides. Here's the book, Mama and Mommy and Me in the Middle. This is destroying the nuclear family, and keep in mind children need to have fathers in the home. Here's the book, Stella Brings the Family, which is about a young child and her two dads. Here they have the book, This Day in June, which is about Pride Day and a Pride Parade. Here's another book I found in the children's section. It's called Heather Has Two Mommies. Here's another book I found in the children's section. It's called Strong. It's got someone with a mohawk in the colors of what I would argue. I think it's the colors of Pride. I don't really know the colors of Pride too well, but it looks like them. This next book is When Aiden Became a Brother. Keep in mind that Aiden is a biological female who identifies as a boy. The next book that I found in the children's section is Red, a crayon's story. A part of the Amazon description for the book Red, a crayon's story says, Red has a bright red label, but he is in fact blue. His teacher tries to help him be red, let's draw strawberries. His mother tries to help him be red by sending him out on a play date with a yellow classmate, go draw a nice orange, and the scissors try to help him be red by snipping his label so that he has room to breathe. But Red is miserable. He just can't be red no matter how hard he tries. So if you're someone who believes that 
the transgender movement as a social phenomenon and that there's social contagion going on, I think this is probably a good indicator considering they're now presenting children with books that tell them that crayons can be trans. Here's the book Rainbow, a first book of pride, which I also found in the library. Here's the book My Rainbow, which is about a mom making a wig for her trans daughter. Here's the book Goodnight Racism by Ibram X. Kendi. I think this library also carries his book Anti-Racist Baby, but I wasn't able to find it while I was here. After taking a look at the books inside this library, I will say I am concerned with the books that they are carrying inside of the children's section of the library. I am also concerned with the book Gender Queer that they carry at the library. While Gender Queer is not in the children's section of the library, it does contain illustrations of oral sex, which I don't think add any value to this library. I don't think that they serve a good purpose, and I don't think that that book should in fact be in this library.